Sam Petrovsky Seaton, cowboy. We love Samo. Um, I thought he had a low key breakout year in 2019. If you have a look at him as a whole, since we've drafted him, he's played 64 games in three seasons 20, 22, and 22 games. And it's, it's, it's very impressive. He was very lightly framed in his first season. He put on a little bit of size last year, and uh, it really showed. Uh, I mean, uh, cut straight to the chase. You know, that round five game against the Doggies was the breakout game. That was as good as we've ever seen him play. 35 possessions. I think he had 25 at halftime. And it, it showed me, I know that we've been playing him across halfback, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But for me, this guy's a midfielder. He was drafted as a midfielder. And for me, that's the type of game that I can see him playing at when he's at his absolute best week in, week out. Without getting too much into the stats, just looking at the year as, at a, you know, as a whole, if you look at 2019, a lot more of these games were in that 20-plus range. And that was the thing about Samo going into 2019 that I spoke about. It was about, we know how good this guy uses the football but on both sides. He's got, he's got that skill. He's got the dexterity. And, and so we need to get the ball in his hands a lot more. Seeing how his season played out, I, I'm looking at Samo to have a, a serious year next year. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, the actual big breakout, you know, all Australian conversation type year. Maybe that'll come in 2021. But I think we found a guy who, who's he's, he's definitely going to make it for me. Um, I, I think he's got that toughness. He's really, you know, worked through the adversity. He's been playing games in, in teams that are not very good. And he's come out, you know, the other end or he's coming out in the other end. Touch wood, hopefully he stays healthy. But like I said, he's a very durable guy. Um, I can imagine him playing a little bit more across half back in 2020. And I understand the case for it. You know, he's a good user of the football. We might need to replace someone like a Kate Simpson at the end of the year. Maybe he's the guy. I just think, you know, he's just so damaging by foot. Not so much with the length in his kicking, um, but the way he's able to pinpoint passes. And, and again, that could be something that we're going to look to use because we want to move the ball quickly. You know, you look at Sam Doherty, you look at Sam Prochewski seaton These are both guys that can pinpoint passes, whether it be through a zone, over the top of a zone. And, and so I understand the, the thought process of having him play across halfback. I just think the talent that he has, you really want that guy kicking the ball inside 50. And maybe that'll come, you know, in a couple of years' time. Maybe there's a few more layers to add to Samo's game. I think the engine is probably one, especially if you want, we want him to be a midfielder, that's probably one where he's got to go up another level. And, you know, looking at training footage and, and being at training, he's definitely one of the standout players. There's probably six or seven of them that are really standing out and, and impressing and looking really good. And he's one of them. He is also someone that always does look good because he's just so flashy, uses the ball well. He's got that X factor about him. And, and, and so there is that to take into account. But... Yeah, look, I'm, I'm expecting a, a pretty big year from Samo. Uh, I don't want to put the expectation on him and say, you know, an all-Australian type year. But for me, I want to see that 22 to 24 possession type season from him. I think that'll hold him in good stead, particularly if he's playing across half back, because then we know that he's going to be someone that we really want to get the ball to, uh, you know, because he's such a good user of it. So that's what I'm, I'm picturing with Samo. What about you? What do you think? Is he a midfielder? Is he a halfback flanker? Is he maybe a little bit of both? How do you see Samo doing in 2020?